Hello, everyone. My name is Tina Eichstead, speech language pathologist and senior product manager from Pearson Clinical Assessment, here with Dr. Jeremy Sharp, the owner and director of the Colorado Center for Assessment and Counseling. And I'm really excited to have you on as a guest for one of our quick looks today, Dr. Sharp. Thanks, Tina. Yeah, glad to be here. So let's start with a little bit about your practice in Colorado. What can you tell us about your practice and when it started and what's involved? Sure, sure. So Colorado Center for Assessment and Counseling is an outpatient private practice that I started in 2009, and we've been fortunate to grow over the years to the point we now have, I think, 15 clinicians. Um, we have several therapists who work with folks across the lifespan, you know, doing counseling, and then we have uh, several psychologists who also specialize in testing and assessment. So psych testing and neuropsych testing. Uh, we also have a medication prescriber. So yeah, we're just uh, trying to deliver as many services as we can to our community. Great. Thanks. Sounds like a wonderful growing practice for you. Congratulations. Um, beyond your private practice, you also have other pursuits in your professional life. Can you tell us a little bit about those and you know what they are? Yeah, yeah. So I also maintain the testing psychologist. Um, the testing psychologist is a, a coaching slash consulting uh, branch of my business where uh, I really try to focus on providing resources for folks doing psych testing and neuropsych testing. So as part of that, I host the testing psychologist podcast, uh, which again, focuses on the business and practice of assessment. And I also moderate the testing psychologist community on Facebook. So at this point, that's a, a group that has uh, nearly 5,000 psychologists who specialize in assessment. And as you might imagine, there's a, a ton of helpful discussion and information that gets passed around that group on a daily basis. Yeah, that's great. Thanks for providing that service to your professions. I'm sure it's highly valued. Um, and certainly, like any Facebook group, is robust with conversation from day to day. Um, so that's great. So now we come to your podcast. So our very own Dr. Susie Rayford, who is the Senior Research Director for the WISC-5 and other of the Wexler tests, um, is going to be joining you on a podcast this week. And so as we sort of tee that up, tell us a little bit about what that podcast will entail with uh, Susie and you know, what are the focus areas if people want to listen into that podcast once it's released? Yeah, yeah. I, I just feel really fortunate to be able to have Susie on, first of all. Um, I think we're really, we're going to, we're going to spend a lot of time on the whole practice of administering assessments remotely. Um, this is a huge question for people right now, as we are not able to meet with, with our clients in person. There are all these questions, you know, can we do testing? And if so, how do we do it? So we're really going to try to tackle those two questions. Uh, Susie, from what I understand, has put together a pretty incredible list of citations so we can really dig into the research on remote assessment. Um, we're going to run through that and, and touch on those studies. But we're also going to spend a lot of time just on the practicalities of remote assessment. Um, I, I think we're going to go heavy on the WISC and, and almost walk through subtest by subtest uh, what do we need to consider? Uh, what's the setup look like? Uh, what materials do we need? How do we prep the client? Um, and so forth, just to, uh, to make sure that some of those pieces are in place. So hopefully we can start to add that to our remote assessment batteries. Yeah, great. And I know just firsthand how much time Susie spent over the last two weeks really putting this guidance document together for the benefit and really the, the collaboration with psychologist just in your position as well. So we're really excited to have her on with you also and just do the best that we can to support all of the work that's being done right now in this season that we're in. Mm. So very exciting. So tell us about the timing of the podcast and then we can let people know to keep watching. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I anticipate that we'll release that podcast by the end of the week, certainly. Uh, I'd like to get it out as quick as possible. I know people are waiting for this kind of content. So we'll have that pushed out pretty soon. Um, if there are any folks out there who have not heard of or subscribed to the podcast, you can just search for The Testing Psychologist on iTunes or Spotify or wherever you might get your podcasts, and you should be able to easily find it. And um, just be on the lookout for that episode with Susie. Sounds great. Thanks so much, Dr. Sharp.
enjoy the podcast and best wishes on all your work. Thank you. Take care.